Okay, then let's have a go at question 1a then. We've got the points a, b, c on the uh, Cartesian axes. a has the point coordinate 2, 1, b is minus 7, 1, and c is 5, 4. So there's three points on the x, y axes respectively. The line through a, perpendicular to the line b, c, intersects b, c at the point d. Show that the equation of b, c is this. So the best way to look at this, and also, and find the equation of a, d. Well, let's start drawing it, and then we'll try and... See what we make of it, shall we? That's probably the best thing to do with a question like this. So I've written it all out here, slightly abbreviated. So let's draw an axis then, first of all. Y, X, Y. And we need to mark off the points. I think that's the first thing to do. A is 2, 1, so go along 2 and up 1. So I'll put it there. And then B is minus 7, 1. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh... It's 2 and minus 1, so go along 2 down 1. Um, B is minus 7 and up 1, so I'll put it there. And C is 5 and up 4, so I'll put that there, I think. 5 and 4, I'll put it here. Okay, so there's... Um, so A is 2 minus 1. And here's A. Uh, B is minus 7, 1. This was B, wasn't it? And this was minus 7, 1. And C was 5, 4. So I'll put C here, and that's 5, 4. Okay. The, uh, the line through A, here it is, perpendicular to BC. So let's draw BC in there as a line, like so. The line through A perpendicular to BC. So let's draw it like that, and there's a perpendicular there. Drop a perpendicular to that line. It intersects BC at the point D. So I'm going to label that point D now, here. First of all, A. Show that the equation of BC is this. Okay, so the equation of BC, B to C, the equation of BC is this. Right, well that's the first part of the problem. So let's just draw, uh, find out the gradient of this line, because we need to write down y equals mx plus c, don't we? So we'll need the gradient. Okay, good. So the increase in y, let's just put that in here. So the y values increase, if we look at the y value here, 1 up to 4, so the increase is 3. The increase in x goes from minus 7 to 5, so that's a distance of 12, so that's the increase here. So now we can write down the gradient of uh, bc. And that's equal to then the increase in y divided by the increase in x, which is one quarter. Okay, there's our gradient. So uh, y equals mx plus c. Um, and I'm going to write the gradient in straight away. One quarter x plus c. So there's our equation of our line here. Now it goes through minus 7, 1. And it goes through 5, 4. So we can choose which point to put in here. So let's do that now. Let's choose the 5, 4, because it's nice and they're both positive. So at, we'll do it over here, uh, the 5, 4, isn't it? Coordinate. That line goes through that coordinate. So the x, the y value equals 4 when the x value is 5, and we'll find out c. Uh, so y it will be 4, won't it? Put that in. There's a quarter of x, which is 5, plus c. So that tells us, then I'm going to read it from right to left. C equals, that's 5 over 4. I move that over to be with the 4. And I'm writing it down from right to left. So this number can come over to be with the 4. And you flip the sign of it, for minus 5 over 4. This is 16 quarters, isn't it? If you write it in quarters, 16 over 4. Take 5 over 4 is uh, 11 over 4. There we go. Let's see. So uh, we can now write down, so y equals mx, one quarter, x, uh, plus c, which is 11 over 4. And that now multiply through by 4, all the way through. 4y equals x plus 11. And then at long last, I'm going to go down the left here while I'm at it. And now we've got our equation of a line. So we'll have leave the x here, and I'm writing it down from right to left again. Move the minus 4y over to be minus 4y. The 11 can stay where it is. And now you've moved the 4y, it will just be equal to naught. So I've written it down from right to left. 
so that we have that. And that's the equation we needed to show for the line, the equation of BC. So that's uh, that part done. Now let's go up and find out what else they wanted us to do in part A. So we've done, uh, show that this, we've got this equation here. And find the equation of AD. So we need the equation of this line. Right, well we know the gradient because we know that it's perpendicular to this gradient and we know that gradient. So this gradient, because that this gradient over here is a quarter, this gradient here must be uh, 4 times a quarter is 1, so it's minus 4. So that has a gradient, which I'll just put in as an m dashed, equals minus 4. Okay, and we worked that out because we knew 4 times minus 4, a quarter times minus 4 is minus 1, because of the property of perpendicularity. Okay then, now we know the gradient, and we know it goes through 2, 1, we can work out the equation of the line. So let's do that then. So gradient AD, let's write that down to be absolutely clear. And it was A to D, wasn't it? Is equal to minus 4. So this time we've got Y equals minus 4X plus C. It goes through this point 2 minus 1. So now we can do the same again as we did just before. At 2 minus 1. Put the values in then because this line here goes through this point. So it has this x and y value, and when we put them in, we'll find out c. So the y value is minus 1, minus 4, times the x value, which is 2, plus c. That's minus 8. I'm going to move that over there to be plus 8, and I'm going to write it down from right to left. So c is just left. The minus 8 comes over to be plus 8, and there's still the minus 1 there. So c is 7. Uh, so we have y equals minus 4x plus 7. Um, now we'll move uh, these two things over to be with the y, because then we'll have 4x, won't we? Positive 4x, which is easier on the i when we write it like that. So move the 4x over. So we have then 4x. Uh, keep the y where it is. And then move the 7 and it becomes a minus 7. And then you've got nothing left on that side. Now, was that the equation? 4x plus y minus 7? Uh, well, it didn't give us the equation, did it? It just said find the equation. And that's what we've got. So that's good. So that's part um, part A done then. Great. Good. So the answers are just there at the bottom of the page.